All right, you know what we do? We say five minutes a day over time will make us dangerous. Alibaba options set for strong demand. I really can't pronounce Alibaba that good, so I'm going to kind of bounce away from that. Wendy goes barbecue pork crazy. It's Friday. Let's see what that's about. Oh, there's another one I saw that was nerdy too, but I'll back off of it. All right, Wendy's on Thursday announced that it had rolled out the several barbecue pulled pork products for a limited time. That sounds like the kind of things that you may expect to find on a fairground somewhere between the deep fried Twinkies, deep fried Twinkies, and bacon wrapped turkey legs. Like Wendy's barbecue pulled pork french fries, or get this barbecue pulled pork cheeseburger. The third item sound, sounds tame by comparison to barbecue pulled pork sandwich. Ingredients and nutrients tell the tale. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to. It's $2.99. Cents. And how many milligrams of sodium? 1,020 milligrams of sodium, 470 calories, and 23 grams of fat. That's a lot of fat. Yeah, I probably won't be doing that one. So uh, they're changing their menu up. Let me go back real quick because this is... This is the nerd in me here that I wanted to see more on this one. Normally I just do one, but I wanted to read this one. How bad is the public pension fund gap? Most companies don't offer pensions. They just give you matching 401ks. Back in the day, you used to have the pension, and then sometime they would give you a 401k as well. Hands off my pension. All right, the United States public pension gap has tripled, oh wow, to, the, to at least two trillion in less than a decade, Moody's Investor Services said in a report on Thursday, Moody's measured the unfunded liabilities for the 25 biggest public retirement systems between 2004 and 2012. The total future shortfall is more than half the size of the $3.7 trillion municipal bond market, which comprises, of, comprises all the outstanding debt issued in the United States and cities. Let me keep going down here. The gap has widened in spite of the fact that the average investment return over about the same period was 7.45%, roughly in line with the targets according to the Wall Street credit rating agencies. Part of the problem for, for the level of overall funding is that the inherently difficult to recover an overall asset position after a double-digit losses okay, seen during the recession. Al Modulia, whatever that is, Moody's vice president said in this statement. So basically, they've got these manage funds happening in very risky investments where they're averaging 7.45 but if they're losing 30 percent then that's 30 percent of this whole fund and also people are living longer so they got to pay this money out for a longer period of time so interesting you thought you had security and then now it's a threat uh last part i'll read in fiscal 2000 in fiscal 2008-2009 at the depth of economic downturn the plant assets dropped 22 percent. I just said 30. Cumulatively, on average, Moody said the other contributing factors include inadequate contributions from plant sponsors and the burden of the aging population across the country. So more people are taking money out than putting in. So that's not good. Let's go to the pre-market real quick. Make sure I can stay on time task. Maybe I'll do a video on just retirement. That that would probably be a good one. All right. Let's see here. Still under 2,000, but it's up. Dow is up. Russell's up. Nasdaq's up. Asia Pacific is a mix. Europe's up. Currencies is a mix. Mix. Commodities. Treasuries is down. That may still be dealing with that China thing. And sectors, indices are down. All right, let's go over to my double up move. Refresh this and see how that's working out for me on this. And hopefully, BP oil will come back. Oh, wow, BP oil did not come back. And General Motors is not looking that good right now. All right, let's see here on my Adidas. Uh, this thing's teetering. I was up almost 400 bucks yesterday. Now I'm up only 133. So we'll keep our eyes on that to see if it gets to 260, 261, somewhere in that range. And, of course, I'm riding out General Motors and BP oil. BP oil is just going up and down on this one. Let me see what the target is on that. 52. Yeah, I still got some spread. All right. Uh, have a great weekend. Five minutes a day over time will make you dangerous. Take care.